Pardon me. This way. Good. You're here. Time for that security detail. Let's go, you two. Ah, if it isn't the champion of the Arioke campaign himself, we surely could not have triumphed without your strength. You do me too much honor, Master Abdiel. I can only express my pride that the Japanese branch managed to serve Bethel's aims. Indeed so. A duty I am sure you will continue to perform. Of course. I will go on ahead to the conference hall. Ensure you are not late. I can already tell this is going to be a mess. Well, that means we're up. Please direct Yuzuru and his friend when they arrive. Sir. Sure. Greetings, I, Konsu, represent Bethel, Egypt. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I speak for the Greeks. And I, the Nordic branch. I shall be filling in as Lord Shiva's proxy. What, the Lord of Dance tire himself out? Lord Shiva simply refuses to sit in with the rest of you. Now, let's begin with this pandemonic nonsense and be done with it. Abdiel? Very well. As many of you are surely aware, we have recently achieved a decisive victory over the Legions of Chaos. Sirt, Ishtar, Ariok. Each of them were formidable in their own right, yet all lie slain at the feet of Bethel, Japan. Henceforth, all forces that marched into the Netherworld may retreat and return to their normal duties. I am unconcerned with the fate of Lucifer's thralls. What interests me is the Lord of Chaos himself. Word is he took out the Creator. Tell me what you make of that. Clearly that falsehood was designed to lead us astray. Do not be deceived. Bethel must remain united. How dim are you? You realize with the Creator gone, we might as well drop the pretense of an alliance altogether. True. I see no merit in joining forces any further. Lord Shiver has in fact expected this, and is already preparing our next move. Patience, everyone. Perhaps it would do us all well to step back and review our circumstances. Konsu speaks wisely. Rather than acting rashly, let us each take a moment to reason amongst ourselves. This is a good opportunity to discern where each faction stands. Go and listen to what each of them has to say.
18 years ago, Tokyo endured the conception unwittingly. Now, with the Shekinah glory fading, the loss we face would be unbearable. We were wrong to place our trust in one god. Only a multitude of divine beings can give the world the proper attention it needs. Furthermore, it is only right for us, the Amatsukami, to keep our land secure. I've always aspired to keep our city safe. To me, working with Director Koshimizu seems the most logical way to accomplish that. And now, with everything that's happened, it's clear to me that one almighty being isn't enough to protect Tokyo. Not by a long shot. That's why I want the world to be as the Director envisions. Where the gods of old watch over us, governing with their wisdom. I'm Japanese too, so I'm all for the idea of protecting Japan. Still, Master Abdiel's words make the most sense to me. See for yourself, the Creator's <laughs> almighty handiwork. See how the Earth's inhabitants lament their injustices and buckle under misfortune. Had we the authority, we would create a world of gladness, where all are treated with equity and compassion. A time of great undoing is upon us. The word of Lord Shiva has been spoken. I must say, this world of flaws and contradictions fashioned by an absentee ruler is long overdue for renovation. Long ago, the Creator, in his boundless arrogance, issued an edict of condemnation, damning all gods to primitivity. This condemnation forbade the existence of Nahobino outright, thus preventing any challenge to his reign. Oh, how I long to break free of this curse. But wait, are you not a Nahobino? How could you have broken the shackles that bind us? If the Creator's dead, his throne ought to be free for the taking. At least, that's how it should work. Oh, I'm sick of hearing babble from that winged wench and her automatons. The Creator can never be defeated. But were that even to be true, surely he would rise up once more. Yes, we must await his glorious return. Until then, we join hands and guide our people. That is Bethel's duty. Hear me. Bethel's mission is to sustain this world, God's world. Any objections? Damn right there are. I say you cut the act and admit your god is dead and gone. He speaks true. Besides, Lord Shiva will soon bring this world to its proper end. On whose authority? If any being is to decide this world's fate, it will be me. Not while the condemnation stands, it won't. It is undeniable proof that the Most High still sits upon the throne. Does he? Then how do you explain the Nahobino standing here before us? Are we to take it this god of yours deems him a worthy successor to the throne? Forgive me, but is he not the proto-fiend of Bethel? Has your god not chosen him? Very well. 
If his existence serves as blasphemy, I cannot remain in ignorance. Witness, as I smite this aberration and blot out his sin from the earth!
here. Impossible. How could I have fallen? So this is the power meant for us. Not bad now, Bino. God was right to be afraid. Perhaps I, too, will seek out my old knowledge. And so were our ties to Bethel severed. When we next meet, it shall be as adversaries. May none be so foolish as to cross me. I must inform Lord Shiver of this new development. Well, I'm done. All have forsaken us for their own selfish gain. Does this please you, Sukuyomi? To see demon kind fall to chaos? To see all that Bethel has struggled for, scattered? I truly couldn't be more satisfied. Entrusting this beautiful world to such a vain despot was always a mistake. We shall establish a new world order. One where countless gods can freely illumine the horizon. As for you, Abdiel, may you find your home. By the way, 